Hi! If you watched my last video, then you would probably know that I went to Cyprus. And I went to Cyprus for a very important reason. And that reason was to attend my brother Jason and his now bride Katie's wedding. Unfortunately, I went on this trip equipped only with the not so mighty Sony A5100. So I was a little limited on the overall flashiness of this film that I'm about to show you, but I had to capture the moment as best as I could and give the new bride and groom the video as a gift. Again, congratulations guys. The wedding was small and very private. We thought it would be nice to share this video with everyone that couldn't attend. So enjoy the video of their big day. <laughs> Him, uh, that he would like a brother or sister. <laughs> <laughs> when 
our dog, he does not. And just a dog special day. You shall go on forever, but today is not the day for doing that. I'm so pleased we've all got to this day with actually a cat man and wife. Regardless of how, um, how many is year, I think we had a fabulous day and we've, we've all hopefully filled your expectations of what you wanted. Although there's a lot of people missing who are living and somewhere else. Um, obviously, your grandmother, your grandfather, but I'm sure that they're all up there wishing you well today, and especially Gramps. You'd be entertaining them ladies and showing them off and showing you to them. And what I wanted to emphasize on really was that um, I fought really hard to get your name, but evidently Holly hated more than more you did. And I never wanted you to lose that really, because it was a part of the identity that I gave you as children. But all I want to say is that you've lost it to one of the nicest guys that I've ever met. And I'm really happy that you've lost the Boris Warren to Jason and you've become Mrs. Francis. So that's all I want to say to you. Um, cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, before we go any further, they just um, they just approached me uh, just now to say that I have to remind you that on the grounds of health and safety, <laughs> nobody's to get up on the chairs and tables during my stand innovation. <laughs> <laughs> so, for those who don't know me, I'm Matthew, and as you probably guessed by now, and Jason knew all along, I am the best man. <laughs> I've known Jason. For 20 years now, another five years, and some people will call it life. <laughs> uh, we first met in secondary school, properly, form class actually. I remember the first day picking our seats, the last two in class on a table, I don't know if you remember, just one single sole table there, <laughs> two, two, two seats, uh, as if it was fit. And as the saying goes, the rest is history. Uh, he laughed at my rubbish jokes and I laughed at his, pretty much to the same day, pretty much the same today. Uh, after living away for 10 years, we still have the same friendship after all our time and distance. as a testament to our great friendship. We're cut with the same cloth, intelligent but clearly lacking the common sense. <laughs> <laughs> so, I would love to stand here and run through the copious amounts of alcohol and news stories of Jason, but the fact of the matter is, he has more on me than I have on him. <laughs> to be fair, he's the sensible one. But saying that, Jason, you're not getting away with that. You're not getting away with that that easily. I put a selection of two events in. So, as detailed, we always been close. Agreed? Yes. So close that in fact he was Mrs. Soraka for a week. <laughs> <laughs> so I was on my honeymoon in Mexico. <laughs> I won't go into too much detail, but there was champagne on arrival. And when greeted, welcome Mr. and Mrs. Soraka. <laughs> there was an awkward look from all three parties. <laughs> Then followed a special request by Jason. It must be the only special request on a honeymoon suite with a sea view, jacuzzi in the room, swim up room, of can we have a single bed put in the room, please? <laughs> <laughs> Again, another awkward look. <laughs> we went to Chichen Itza that week, one of the wonders of the world. 40 degrees heat, sweat running down our backs while just standing still. Everyone had the common sense on the way in to purchase these large sombrero hats to protect themselves with some shade whilst walking around for two hours. But not us, no. We were the only two in the cave on the way out. <laughs> <laughs> well, and so you're both aware, I've checked my holiday plan and work and I'm good to go for the return of the honeymoon cave. Just keep me posted, right? <laughs> there has always been an ever slightly doubt in the back of the boys' heads over, over Jason's masculinity. <laughs> so much is the time we went to my grandmother's one day. I started by saying it with Jason in tow, Nana, I've got something to ask you. This soon followed with, oh, Matthew, please don't tell me you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> so if my phone rings at any time now, it'll be my, it'll be my grand seeking closure that Jason has actually married a woman. 
We made bingo that night, and what a special night there was. Only due to the special company though. We were eight numbers in, they had never seen Jason so excited. Ask him what was up, he managed to contain himself and say to me, eight numbers in, and I've had everyone. <laughs> 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 So yeah, Katie, you look beautiful today and J Jason's lucky to have found such a wonderful girl to share his life with. Jason, Katie is a kind, beautiful and good-hearted person who des deserves a great husband. So thank goodness you stole her heart. <laughs> <laughs> <Because> she found <laughs> one. I'm only joking. Uh, joking aside, my heart is filled with so much love respect and admiration. I am honoured to be standing here today with you both on the happiest day of your lives. Uh, they say, don't ask a man what is important to him, what shall he spend his time? Well, I've watched Jason spend his time and I can clearly see what's important to him. It's you, Katie. You've made Jason a happy man, a man with an appreciation for love, life, girls running tight, and sausage dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Despite all I said about Jason, he's my best mate, and I know the character assassination of him today is slightly exaggerated. When we were growing up and to this day, he would always be there when a pint and a chat was needed, and I'm very proud to call him my best friend. Jason, after all these years of knowing you, you deserve some luck, and you've definitely got that today in Marie and Katie. But words of advice, remember to boss and never answer our back. <laughs> <laughs> So, in the chosen words of Frank Sinatra, I saw the end is near, I'm going to finish with a toast. Yeah. So, I tried printing it out to be honest, but I know I've got, I haven't got my glasses on, but the hotel and see. <laughs> 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 I don't know if you want to Suspect same as I test that. <laughs> 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 I can't bear it. Anyway, I can't, I can't make up what it is. <laughs> 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 it could be anything. <laughs> So I thought I'd go off my phone instead, otherwise we'd turn it off a million pages. Okay, so I, I kind of was actually debating whether I go for a funny approach or whether I go for a serious approach. But um, as obviously everybody knows, we kind of got Matthew with us, so I didn't really want to overdo it. <laughs> so I thought I'd go more with the serious side of it. I mean, after all, people don't necessarily remember the groom's speech. You know, what they often say is that a wedding is defined by the best man's speech. So uh, I was very nervous. But uh, I'd like to put all that on the shoulder, say no pressure. <laughs> so, a lot of people have asked me coming up to now, even today, about am I feeling nervous or was I feeling nervous? I was hearing it all the way to that last thing. And um, naturally, I think it'd be wrong to say that that I wouldn't be nervous. I mean, this is a major life event, and you know, life events don't come, they're not a daily thing. You know, it's something that only ever happens once. So, naturally, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna feel nervous. I shouldn't be nervous, as you know, this is not something I'm going through on my own. It's a life event that I'm sharing with my partner, my wife, and my best friend. Oh. Katie. <laughs> So, so what's there to be nervous about? I'm amongst close family and friends, I'm taking my vows, share my life experiences, as well as knowing my future life experiences are going to be with Katie. So it's not a question of being nervous, more about an occasion to celebrate with excitement and happiness of what's to come as a couple going forward. First thing I'd like to thank everybody this year. So I know it hasn't been an easy wedding to plan. You know, it's been three years in the making, fifth date, second, uh, second country. Or fourth, my mother thought it was. She was <laughs> so even though we've had to change all these days, but we also know that you guys have had to change your, your times around with us. So just want to say thank you to everybody because they know it hasn't just affected us. It's, it's also actually affected you guys as well. There's also a lot of people that couldn't be here. So uh, you know it's for obvious reasons, and we're fine with that. So people like my grandfather, my father. Oscar Arthur. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but even though they're not here, you know, I certainly uh, came to myself and certainly thinking about them. And uh, we certainly celebrate them every day when we get married as well. And now talking about my beautiful wife. So you know, within this within this beautiful setting, she certainly shines through as looking the most beautiful of them all. And makes me realise how lucky I am to have her. Oh. <laughs> and I mean, when I say this is the, the fifth date in the second country, you know, it, all the planning was largely done through Katie. And uh, so I'm very grateful for that. You know, it, 
I was largely only brought in for the big decisions. <laughs> you know, and with my ever wise uh, head, it's just coincidence that all the decisions happen to be the cheapest. <laughs> <laughs> um, but when I also talk about Katie, you know, and it's strange to say about my wife. Um, she's not just beautiful, so she's kind, she's honest, she's funny. She's also highly intelligent. So, you know, a lot of what people don't know, and me and Daryl still did this, is that Katie and actually Holly both say that they are, uh, they're adamant that they're in the top 1% of the yes, and when somebody else actually helps me get up the attic to find the paperwork, I'll be able to give it to you, Jason. Yeah. People who don't know, this is something that earns them the right to be part of the illustrious mentor. We're the best scholars and professors are all part of that. Yeah. On the other hand, Katie was also somebody that thought that a carpenter is somebody who's carpet. <laughs> <laughs> it was years ago. <laughs> but despite this, you know, I like uh, we all think she's obviously done an amazing day of planning this and I'm totally grateful and proud of her for everything she has done. Um, so I've been with Katie for seven years. So seven years of good times, memories and laughter. I still remember the first day that she well, we met. So met in Swansea, we were going to go to a date, I was in the car and actually forgot to ask what car she was going to And when she turned in with the music player in the most boy racer no, car you've ever seen, it was only missing neon lights under the bottom. <laughs> we hit it off and never looked back since. So we've been travelling many places, buying a house and of course having the famous Oscar. <laughs> this is just the first seven years. Seven years with the small chapters and an enormous book in which we need to fill. Something I look forward to going, uh, doing into the real world. So all I wanted to do is just a very quick toast uh, to raise your glasses uh, to my new bride. Oh. And that is to uh, the kid. Oh. <laughs> well, that was from the heart. That, that was lovely. Uh, Holly and Greg, so oh. this has been put together. Uh, there's two videos here. But I'll show you the, the one we put together. Yeah, he says that. Hi, Katie and Jason. Just wanted to say a massive congratulations. I hope that you have the very, very best day that you can possibly have. No two people deserve today more than you guys. Um, I cannot wait to see the photos and the videos. You won't believe that I've actually attempted this video five times and I've cried every time. So hopefully this time we're going to get through it. Katie Cates, you're my absolute angel. Uh, you're a beautiful girl, true and true. You've been such a good friend to me in my journey to Swansea, from Ireland to Scotland to Wales. You've always been such a good friend to me from day one. Um, and I, you know, you'll always be so important to me for that. I wish you nothing but the best and have a wonderful, wonderful day, guys. Take care. Love you lots. Oi, oi. Finally married. Um, sorry about the, the curtains and where I am. I'm in a dodgy hotel in work. Matthew Strocka, late as always, last minute. Drop this on me now. So I'm on my own uh, in a room, just hanging. But congratulations, long time coming. You're gonna make the best couple, best married couple ever. And long may it continue. Well done, guys. Can't wait for the wedding party. Oi, oi! Hi, Katie and Jason. Um, the day has finally arrived. I hope you have the most fantastic day. And I can't wait to celebrate with you when you get back. Look forward to seeing all your photos. Have the best day, guys. Congratulations! Glad the day is finally happening for both of you. Looking forward to seeing all the photos and hearing about it all when we see you in the home party. I uh, hope you have an amazing day. Good luck to both of you. I uh, hope you have the best honeymoon wedding you could ever want. Congrats both. Congrats. <laughs> hope you've had the best day today. Sorry we couldn't be there to celebrate with you. Looking forward to celebrating with the pair of you when you come home. Mostly Oscar. Congratulations. Lots of love. Love you both. Hi, Katie and Jason. Congratulations on your wedding day. I hope you're having an amazing time in Cyprus. It's absolutely beautiful out here. 
It's an amazing place, and I can't believe we got married before you. Unbelievable. I'm gutted we can't spend the day with you or meet up before we leave, but I wish you all the joy, love, and happiness on your wedding day. May the future be bright, guys, and hope it's a long lasting love. See you on the ninth, guys. Cheers. Ta-da. Hi, Katie and Jason. Just a quick word. Have the best day ever. It's been a long wait, but today you get to say those magical words at last. Enjoy every minute, and we'll see you when you get back. Can't wait to see your photos. Hi, Katie. Just want to wish you and Jason the best of luck on your special day at last. Hope you will be very happy as you both deserve it. Miss you lots and hope to see you soon. Bye. Hi Katie, it's Alicia here, obviously. I'm actually in one of your favorite places. I don't know if you can recognize the background. Um, yeah, so anyway, just wanna wish, wish you the very best wedding day ever. Um, I'm so glad it's finally arrived for you both. Um, especially you KD because I know how long you waited for this um, I got Gary in the background smoking so I can't concentrate at the moment and other attempts of trying to make this video have been epically failed due to uh, me but yeah so I just want to wish you the very very best day I did attempt at making a poem um, Queen Katie finally it's your wedding day all I can say is hooray hope you hope you weren't late and hope you ate because it's a very important day. It's a sorry, I didn't get to do much more. I hope you have a terrific day. You're, you know, you're a fantastic friend and you deserve the very best. I'm just so sorry I can't be there with you now. Um, yeah, and actually we're having our wedding anniversary here today. First time out as parents. Um, so yeah, I hope you have the very best day because you so deserve it. Congratulations, Katie and Jason. Bye! Congratulations, Katie and Jason, on your special day at last. Happy wedding day! Have fun! Hi, Katie and Jason. Just to say, me and Mark are wishing you all the best. I hope you have a lovely day. And um, we both can't wait to celebrate with you when you're back. See you soon. Bye! So where do I start, Jason? Well... For starters, you're handsome, witty, intelligent, and full of charm. Oh. Sorry, Jason, but I can't understand your handwriting. No, really, Jason, I am so really proud of you. It is now the time I'm supposed to officially welcome Katie into our family. But the truth is, you've been a part of this family since we first met you. Son, you have been one of the sweetest blessings of my life. You are kind, gentle, generous. You're also strong, responsible and courageous. The first role you had in the world was as my baby boy. Then you became a brother, a first class student you became a man, then a boyfriend, then a fiancé. Today, I wish I was there in person to see you become a husband. You have chosen a beautiful bride that I and Tina embrace as our daughter-in-law. You don't marry the person you can live with. You marry the person you can't live without. So remember today, for it's a beginning of always. A promise to love each other through good times and bad. And make laughter your forever medicine in life. If Nan and Dado were here, they would be as proud of you today as I am. Now we will raise a glass to Jason and Katie Mr. and Mrs. Francis. Cheers. I've not changed the date again, is it? 
I'm busy now. Ciao Bella. Ciao Bella. I'd like to start by necking and nominating Jason with this girly drink, Conch Rock Special. Bit of uh, vodka, lemonade, and lime. It's not something I really ever drink, but here we go. Hopefully, the day's going well and you're feeling better than you did on the Spartan race we did together, where I literally thought you were going to die and you didn't speak to me all the way home because you technically said I made you do the race but it was for a good cause but I hope your wedding day is going amazingly congrats and have a good day here's the name of it Hi Jason, okay. congratulations on your big day. I just did the coffee there with you. Um, I'm checking the postman every day and they said my invitation isn't there, so I'm guessing you don't have a new address. Um, I'm not sure whether Jackson is going to play this at the end of the day or at the beginning, so if it's at the end, I just want to congratulate you both for getting married, everything you've gone through in the last couple of years, and uh, all the setbacks. You know, you've done great for the person here. If it's before Katie, you know, still in the time point, you don't have to go through it, find someone better. There's been a global fucking pandemic, for fuck's sake. You don't have to go through with it, just into the sides. Anyway, Jackson's making us do this and nominate, so I'm not only going to nominate Jason, I'm also going to nominate Jackson for making me do it. So, congratulations all. Hi Jess, hi Kate, congratulations, finally married, about time. Now, we've been told to do this, basically to end Jason. He likes drinking vodka, I like drinking lemonade, I like drinking lime, but I don't like drinking lime, so it's just gonna be vodka and lemonade for me. And I even went out and bought this, because I know how much Jason likes sausage, Dogs, do sausage dogs. So uh, I'd like to nominate Jason uh, for vodka, lemonade, and lime, please. And I'll do mine. I hate vodka. I'm drinking on school night as well, Sunday. I'm doing this on a Sunday, the 8th of August. Not happy. He's all filled up, is it? Right. Congratulations both, and long may continue. Waited long enough. Cheers. Uh, as they say in Slando, <coughs> ciao for now. So I guess the usual thing to do for a best man speech is to start by thanking all of the guests for making the massive effort of getting here today. But let's be honest, I don't actually know who made the third and final cut, but thank you all and welcome to this beautiful place finally. Unfortunately, I cannot be here in person today due to Jason changing his mind. By that I mean the dates, not which twin. This wedding has been postponed more times he's actually had haircuts this year. I'm hoping for Katie's sake that he's got rid of those curtains by now and has smartened himself up for at least today. Katie, I'm sure you look as stunning as always. I just hope your dress can compare to at least one of us without it. <laughs> there are many things we could ridicule Jason over today. However, I've been taught to judge a room first. This is uh, proving to be pretty tricky today. So with that in mind, I would just wish both the bride and groom all the happiness they deserve and allow Jason to do the drinks he's been dodging for the last 20 years. <laughs> Jason, you always bring up the club or the rugby club night out where you pay for every single drink. It's nobody's fault but your own if you can't remember what's happening after one drink. <laughs> By the way, I nominate the groom. As Jason takes on his nominations, and trust me, we could be here for a while at the speed that he drinks, 
Could we all please raise a glass to my best friend and his beautiful bride, Mrs. and Mr. Francis. Congratulations, love. Thank you, sir. Hey, Katie, you're right. Um, I'm a bit worse for wear now. We're actually in Liverpool. Um, I'll be there now, Luke. Don't you worry. Um, I've been told they're going to make a reference to uh, vodka, lemonade, and lime. Not my drink. Very much, sir. Uh, me and John have been drinking here for a couple of hours. So, um, I am with a white shirt. I mean, the only white shirt I've got is uh, the one I wear to film wrong. Doesn't seem really apt. So, um, yeah, we haven't got that. So, yeah, all I can say is to is um, well done on your wedding day. Eventually, I'm glad you've actually got around to do it. Um, yeah, and uh, congratulations. What was that? So I can tell you. Not much of a drink, but uh, yeah, hope you've had a good day, guys. All the best and uh, a long and happy marriage. Cheers, Katie. Big congratulations on the big day. It's finally here. Uh, there was a time where I thought that the wedding cancellations were going to catch up in number. The amount of times it took Jason to do his driving test. Uh, but only late, this kind of still think it all right there by about eight. Um, I don't think there's anybody happier than me to see the wedding day final year. Uh, I can actually looking forward to playing 18 hours of golf now without Jason pondering whether he was making the right decision and whether coronavirus was a sign from God whether he should go through with it or not, so chuffed for that, looking forward to the next round. Uh, a special occasion deserves a special drink, so I would like to nominate Jason to drink a vodka, lemonade and lime. Um, didn't have any Grey Goose up in TLT, which I was quite shocked by. Uh, cornerstone of the Penrose community, we don't stock any good quality vodka. I'm not expecting a lot from our own from Russian standard here. Um, so I say, I'd like to nominate Jason to drink the vodka in the line, and congratulations again on the big day. Cheers all, have a great day. Oh, I can confirm the Russian standard vodka isn't up to the very level of Grey Goose either, Jess. He's changed the date again, and location. This is almost as many times as his driving test. Oppa! <laughs> Uh, I'm going to short and sweet. Finally, the day is here. Uh, my bed is really stressful. Um, a lot of tears on the way. But I uh, wish you all the best for your wedding day. Uh, I don't know how many times move the wedding, but I'm sure it's not the times Jason done his driving test. Don't worry, yes, I'll give a secret to him. Um, to a uh, brilliant bright future. Cheers. If you have a drink here, vodka, lemonade, and lime. <laughs> Just to warn you, it's big measures, don't you? Uh, cheers, I'm on with you. Cheers, guys, have a fantastic day. Cyprus now, is he crazy? At least we're gonna get loads of air miles for this. Does he not know he can just tell Katie this is a whole thing? Oh, as I was saying, now we're here in Cyprus. Here's to Mr. and Mrs. Francis. I hope you're having a great day. That's the rock, guys. Oh, yeah. Hey! Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. <laughs>
partner with the chance of it ruining his big D. We weren't gonna sit back and watch him drink all of these drinks. Yeah. 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 Unfortunately, at this point, my camera battery was almost dead, but luckily, I managed to catch the beautiful couple's first dance. Okay, so just to end, I'd like to say a few words. Jason, as my big brother, I've always looked up to you in some ways. We have got rather different personalities and a lot of people can see that, <laughs> but that's never a bad thing. You were the one that got mostly A stars in school where I barely scraped C's, which I am still very proud of, I must add. <laughs> You were the type to get along and even become friends with the teachers where I could sometimes be found in their office having a stern telling off, which was rightfully so on most occasions. You grew up to start going to nightclubs where I started going to rock concerts. You enjoyed your football and I was into my skateboarding. I can go on and on about the polar opposite traits we have but no matter the difference we will always share the same blood and i'm proud to call you my brother <laughs> Hello. Hello. as brothers we have never fallen out which is surprising and we've always looked out for each other. You're a top bloke, Jace. <laughs> and good things happen to good people. You found the woman of your dreams and are both creating a beautiful life together. And without getting too corny, I'm just happy for you both and wish you a long and happy future. Congratulations, guys. Look after each other.